Hi guys, so I've not done a sit down video in a long time. Um, I've actually just come back from Manchester where I went and did some Christmas shopping. Um, and I went to Primark and I bought a lot of Disney stuff that wasn't Christmas shopping and it was shopping for me. So I thought I would do a video on all the Disney Primark stuff that I bought. As you can see, there's quite a lot. I mean, this bag is humongous and that is just all my Disney Primark stuff. I bought other stuff for people that had asked me to get and go and pick some stuff up, some Disney stuff. So I only show you the singular stuff in here, whereas I've got doubles of quite a bit of it for other people, Christmas presents. So let's get started. So I'm going to do it in a way where it's like a pick a mix. So I know that everything in there is Disney related. So I'm going to put my hand in and show you what I get. So let's start. Like um, stocking morning. Huh? Okay, so the first thing, I've actually got one of these already. I bought one of these for my trip to Florida that I did in September. Um, but I actually used it most days and I'd got pins and badges and all on that. And I wanted a spare one because I don't want that one to break and not have a spare one. So this one's gonna go in my cupboard as a replacement one. Um, so it's the same as it was before. The ears, quite spacious inside. And then you've got the um, key rings. And that was nine pounds. So again, just gonna go in my cupboard. They're really good. They quite stir, so that's good. Next. Another bag. Oops, touched. So I thought I'd get this bag. So this is bags for like at home, like with if you go out for an evening, it's quite nice. You wear normal clothes and just put a bit of Disney on it. So it's very, it's got a little um, like, Glitter balls there, make some pattern, a nice red glitter bow. The back's just like that. And again, enough to fit your phone in and your money on a night out. So that's fine and quite a long strap. Um, and that was six pounds. I think a lot of you will recognise this. This is, I think everyone who's Disney fan got the bigger sizes when they came out. Um, so the size is probably, put it over there, it's probably twice the size, but now they've actually bought out smaller ones. Now, they only had Mickey Mouse in the Manchester store, but I know they do do Minnie Mouse, but I couldn't find that. And I would have preferred Minnie Mouse, but I did get a Mickey Mouse, um, and that's gonna go either on my shelf in here in the lounge or in the one in my other spare room, so I'm not sure which, but. Um, it's nice, and that's only five pounds. So another wallet. So this is a wallet, essentially. It's a Tinkerbell one. And they're quite nice for holidays. I like to have holiday wallets, so like when I go to America and I've got change left over, I'll use it on my way. But then when I come back, I'll leave my change in it. So it's like my American wallet or my Asia one. Um, so it's Tinkerbell. Quite nice. It's very similar to like the Kath Kidson sort of style one they did for Mickey Mouse, which I've got. A little star there, which is quite cute. And that was four pounds. Slippers. So these are really cute. I mean, they're so fluffy. Did anyone got the chip, the chip one, the um, Marie slippers? They're very similar to that. And I love those. So I wanted a spare pair. Um, so again, Minnie Mouse with a um, nice glitter red bow, which I really like, and it's just so fluffy. And that was four pounds. It closed now. Actually, it technically isn't Disney. But if you're a Disney person like me and go to Florida, it's still a Florida thing and it's a Harry Potter t-shirt so I really wanted a Harry Potter one for our next trip to Florida which will be announced soon and um, it's quite nice it's white so it's hot it's not going to be too bad and it's just got a bit of pattern which is quite nice and that was let's find it six pounds which again it feels really nice so I like the comfy t-shirts Another pair of slippers, so these aren't as nice and soft as the Minnie Mouse ones, but they're still really nice. And then the Beauty and the Beast, like Christmas style ones, I guess. It's like she wears the red dress um, for Christmas. And it's got some nice text there that says, Tell as old as time. Um, and they're called footlets, so they're like slippers, but they, yeah. Um, and that was four pounds. So they'll be very Christmas slippers. Just household stuff. 
So I saw these on the internet, which are tea towels, Disney tea towels. There's two in here and they're five pounds. I'm gonna open them up. Oh, let me see that, that's cool. The pattern's really cool, I'll show you. So one of them is like this, so definitely it's a Christmas style one. So Minnie and Mickey, like that, the Mickey Mouses and hearts in between. Um, this is really nice. I'd actually quite like a Christmas jumper in this style, but they didn't have any. Like, it's quite subtle, isn't it? But um, that would be next year Primark. That is what you should be doing. So that's one of them. And then the other one is... I could say it's probably not... You could probably use it all year round, this one. Because it's just a Minnie Mouse. The little, like... Oh, what are your shorts? Sure, there's like balls hanging off. So they're quite cute. Go over your oven. A little decoration. But I also bought the other pack. It had them in black. Is it somewhere? Yeah. And I don't think these ones are Christmas specific, so that's why I bought two packs. I thought one for Christmas and then one for the rest of the year. So you've got black with the balls. And then the other ones. I like this material. It's just black and white. Nice, basic. So it's the rest of the year round. So Christmas ones and not so Christmas ones. And again, these were five pounds. Got a lot of clothes in here. I'm trying to find something that's a bit smaller. Do you get a Primark and not get Disney socks? So these are again a very similar pattern to the last tea towel I showed you. So you've got like ball balls on the front one. And then you've got like, I like this one. It's like black, the glitter Mickey Mouses. As you can tell I like glitter stuff. So they're quite cool. And those were for three, three pounds. Apparently actually looking at this, one of them's got a really nice pattern. Look at this one. Okay, it's a sock, but then you've got, oh yeah, the ears pop out. It is very cool. And then the balls, so these might be my socks of the day that I wear. The nice go for airport security when you take your boots off, you've got some cool socks. Next. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's a Mickey Mouse vest. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty and it's so light and um, yeah, it'd be nice. Quite smart, so like you can wear it if you get out with a nice pair of black trousers, black shoes and then Disney it. So it's just Mickey Mouse's, two different styles. So you've got Mickey Mouse looking, show you. Mickey Mouse looking directly at you and then Mickey Mouse sort of on the side there. So that's cool, a really nice light. I really like it. And that was 10 pounds. One of the most, most expensive items I bought. Um, well that will get some use. So again, this is intentionally Disney. But again, go to Florida, you get a Universal, and this is for my nephew for Christmas. So Sam, if you're watching this, do not watch this. Um, but it's a Jurassic Park long sleeve t-shirt, so that's quite cute. It's one of my favourite rides is Jurassic Park, so it's good in a hot day. So that will be good. So LED Disney lights. These are really cool. So they're like Disney shaped. Christmas lights essentially, so I'm not sure I'm going to put them, I don't know what sort of size they're going to be, but that is awesome. And these were not here, three pounds, which is pretty good. So another thing that I think has been on Instagram quite a lot recently, oh, it's kind of broken, is a Minnie Mouse hot water bottle. I mean, guys, it's cold outside, right? And this is perfect for those nights where heating has gone off get you warm it's nice it's got the ears here you got a thing there to hold it on so you can hang it up which is pretty cool and i actually didn't think the hot water bottle would come with it but it did so that's quite cool and that was eight pounds they're quite heavy but hot water bottles are and that's nice patterns the back's just all dotted so that's cool so now i think i'm on to pajamas so again going from where you can go and so you need to be get your essentials like pajamas cheaply which is quite nice and they're disney related the first set i picked up was some seven dwarf ones i like my pajamas baggy so i don't look at the size but oh, seven dwarfs on it with some cute seven dwarf trousers and those were 10 pounds 
And the other pair I picked up were I love my tea. Guys, I'm like a proper tea fiend. And I saw this and I was like, yeah, this is me. Wake me up for tea. So like, we wake me out of bed early. We make up a tea, sorted. Alice in Wonderland there, which is cute. And the trousers are pretty basic, but comfy. So just those. That's cool. And again, those were. Oh, those were eleven pounds. I think because it was long sleeved. I think they're slightly more money. We're getting down to the real bottom here, actually. So next, I saw this just randomly. I don't know where it came from. It was just one of those things with something it shouldn't have been. And it was this Mickey Mouse, um, like dream catcher, which is really cute. So I'm not sure I've put it in my little room. I'm trying to make my spare room into a bit of a Disney room. So all my Disney stuff can go in there. So I might put that in there. And that was four pounds. I think this might be like my last Disney item. Which is something that I've seen on loads of people's Instagrams. Which is the Mickey Mouse throw. So it's really fluffy. And I've already got like a generic Minnie Mouse one from Primark last year. But this one's a bit more. I might actually got my bed. Because I bought some new bed covers from Primark. Um, which was quite nice to go on there. So that's my last item. Actually, I tell a lie, it's not my last item. I'm actually wearing something I bought. So this is a jumper I bought there that I'm wearing today. So it's just got little different characters on it. It's really comfy. So that's my last thing. I think that was £10. So I hope you enjoy my haul. If you do, please like it and subscribe if you wish. Um, I'm going to be doing some more of my vlogs coming up from my previous trip um, and I'm going off to Asia in March to do Shanghai, Tokyo and Hong Kong which completes all my Disney Parks of the Year challenge. I have got another trip booked, I'm going to be announcing it very shortly, just finalising some of the details with the flying club points and things but that will be announced soon. Um, I'm trying to do it cheaply so any advice anyone's got, got for making it a Florida trip cheaper than it tends to be um please comment below and let me know um so i shall catch you all soon i hope you all have a fantastic christmas i can't wait to see everything disney you all get because come on guys if you're a disney fan you're gonna get disney stuff so see you soon bye